Hello, my name is Kevin Luther, and I am the owner and winemaker here at Voluptuary and Lucid Wines. And I am hopping on video today to lead you all through our new three wine sparkling set. So this is a really cool lineup that I've been working on for a while. This is our new sparkling wines. So we made a sparkling wine about a year and a half ago when we first launched, and it was the first wine we ever sold out of. We made a bunch of it and it sold like crazy. So I decided, well, if that was that popular, let's make three. So this lineup, we have a sparkling white wine from Albarino. We have a sparkling orange wine from a blend including Chardonnay, and we have a sparkling rosé. So it's a really fun batch. And our new lineup comes as a wine tasting kit. So you can purchase this on our website. This is a collaboration we're doing with Green Wedding Shoes. These are some awesome wedding folks who do beautiful photography and beautiful event organization and promotion. And we're collaborating with them on this sparkling wine kit. So you can scope it out inside. If you order this kit, it comes with some cards to guide you through the wines, as well as the beautiful three sparkling wines. Each of these bottles is 187 milliliters, and they are about six ounces, so it's like a large glass of wine of each of these three sparklings, and you get to taste three different wines, and well, enjoy it with this video here today. So, I'm gonna be cracking these open, tasting through them with you all, both to let you know about these wines, and for those of you who have already purchased, you can use this video to learn about the wines and taste through them with me. You also have the cards that came with the tasting, so if you don't have the video in front of you, you can you know, guide yourself with those, but this video will be you know, me talking to you about these wines. So, without further ado, we have our beautiful 187 ml bottles. The first one is our L9 Epiphany Sparkling Albarino. So as with all three of these, these are Petalot Natural, fully natural style sparklings. That means that these are unfiltered, they're a little cloudy, they're gonna be actually mildly probiotic and full of B vitamins, so it's basically a health food, health drink. And, well, I'm gonna crack this one open here. So the nice thing about these, they're a fun sparkling, they're laid back, right? That's one of the fun things about Petnat. Typically, Petnat, it's what we call it in the US because no one can pronounce Petalat Natural very well. So these guys tend to be crown capped like beer bottles, not like your, you know, standard sparkling with a crown cork. So this is a little more laid back and, you know, easy to open. So, of course, you could drink this straight from the bottle if you want. It's really refreshing. Or you can pour it in a glass. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pour myself some here. You can see that has some awesome bubbles there. and it has a very refreshing, crisp, citrusy characteristic. More lemon, maybe a pinch of orange, mandarin, grapefruit, lime, really a nice, you know, kind of citrusy mix, but also a little bit more ripe fruit, maybe some pear or crisp green apple. You're gonna get a nice mix of kind of crisp citrus and a little more rich orchard fruits. And then partly because it's unfiltered, you're gonna get a little bit of cloudiness there. You're gonna get a little bit of yeastiness. That's gonna give you a pastry-like note, maybe some nuttiness as well, almonds, cashews. And other than that, just easy drinking. It's not so aggressively bubbly. Uh, the official wine term is aggressive mousse, which I just think is hilarious. Um, this one, although it's, it's definitely quite bubbly, it's more like Prosecco level of bubbles. It's not your cava or champagne. You know, you saw me drink it right from the bottle. And if you try to do that with champagne, it like, it's horrible. <laughs> it's too bubbly. So this is a, a much more balanced level of bubbles. And also makes for more easy drinking. So that being said, this is from the Albarino grape, which is a Spanish grape variety. You also see it in Portugal, in Vino Verdes and so on and it makes for a very light, crisp, low alcohol style of wine. And when made as a sparkling, it makes for a very refreshing, balanced, light sparkling. So that is our first one in the lineup. And I have some pairings for this 
as well as, you know, all this winemaking and flavors. So my song pairing for this is the song Make You Feel That Way by Black Alicious. If you guys don't know Black Alicious, awesome rapper from kind of the golden era of hip hop, the 90s and early 2000s. He's still making music, but very feel good, happy, positive, very woke hip hop. And that song Make You Feel That Way is just one of those songs about those moments in life where, you know, you smile to someone on the street and they smile back and you just have a nice little moment there. Or, you know, you you help someone out and they say thank you. Or, <laughs> you know, you do something good. You pick up some litter or just something good happens in your day and you just, you just feel good. You feel happy. You feel like you're like you're living life right and, and karma's kind of back to you. So it's one of those those concepts, you know, make you feel that way. And I think this is one of those wines that it's just got good vibes. It's fun, it's fresh, and uh, yeah, great music pairing there. And then in terms of food pairings, this wine goes very well, this sparkling wine, goes very well with fresh seafood, like oysters, fresh lighter fish, maybe with a citrus, you know, squeezed over the top kind of thing. Anything that crisp range, this would also go great with a light salad or any other sort of lighter dish because of that, that overall lightness there. But because this does have some creaminess, both from neutral oak barrel aging and from the cloudiness in bottle, this could also pair very well with certain pastries, baked goods, and desserts. You wouldn't want to go too sweet because there is a fair amount of crispness and sourness, uh, acidity to this wine. So you don't want to go too sweet because that would clash with that acidity. But overall, great pairing for pastries and baked goods, bread with some olive oil would be great. So I'm going to set this to the side. I want to drink the whole amount, but I shouldn't get too tipsy on camera. All right, the next wine we have here is our L1 Skin Contact Sparkling White Wine Blend. So this blend is based in the Chardonnay grape. There is a little bit of Viognier and Picpoul Blanc, like all of our wines, organically grown. And for those of you familiar with our still wines, you're gonna know our L1 Skin Contact Chardonnay Blend. This is literally the same wine with a slight twist. We, I blended it just a little bit to make it a better match for a sparkling wine. So it's a little lighter than our normal L1. So you can see here that this has this beautiful, more golden color to it. Sort of a, a dark yellow, light orange with, again, that cloudiness. And this one, it's a little bit less citrusy, a little less sour, a little less bubbling, a little more richness to it, more of those orchard fruits, and even getting into the tropical fruit range. So now you're thinking ripe apples, some Granny Smith, Fuji, peach, apricot, pear. And again, because of that cloudiness, you're going to get a little bit of that pastry note as well, a little bit of that complexity and, and range and depth to it. Another really fun one. This one, because it has a little more intensity of flavor, this can pair with slightly more rich foods, slightly more complex foods. So for example, pork chops with some spiced apples, because this does really have that almost apple pie spice to it. You're gonna get apples and even some vanilla or cinnamon kind of characteristic. So pork with a little bit of that spiced apple type characteristic, fried chicken or fish and chips, or peaches and cream. For the vegetarians and vegans, this would also go very well with a apple and arugula salad with a nice dressing that has perhaps a little bit of apple cider vinegar and a little bit of sweetness, maybe some honey to help accentuate that and play off of each other. I'm even thinking maybe a little bit of baked tofu with some nice spices. So some of that cinnamon and light um, baking spices to bring out a little bit of sweetness in the tofu and perhaps a little bit of a creamier rich sauce. Hmm. Beautiful. So that covers our first two wines. And oh, I almost forgot my other pairings. My song pairing here is, uh, actually we have two song pairings. One is Peaches and Cream by John Butler Trio, an awesome Australian band and well, the name of the song says it all there, but it's also a very 
kind of smooth and balanced song that's that's a very good vibe match for this the other one is bubbly by colby kyatt and well again <laughs> i can't resist a good name pun so this is another name pun match and lastly my life pairing for this sometimes i do life pairings with the wine so the life pairing for this is watching the sunrise or sunset on the coastline cuddled up with someone whether that's a person or your dog just relaxing in the sand watching a sunset sipping on this just relaxing and and enjoying that that warmth and that comfort and that you know shared experience so another great sparkling and to wrap up our trifecta here we have the l2 urban flora sparkling rose so I keep wanting to twist top them, but these are, these are pop top. The rosé sparkling is going to be largely from the Mission grape variety. And again, you can sip it from the bottle if you'd like. Or pour it in the glass. And the sparkling rosé, now you're going to be get Dina, a uh, much more watermelon, strawberry, cherry type fruit flavor. Almost even a little candied fruit. So anything from blood orange to mandarin and tangerine, all the way through to more of a strawberry, watermelon, guava, passion fruit. Tons of fruit flavors, some nice crisp citrus, maybe even a hint of like hibiscus or cranberry there. And again, this is coming largely from the grape. So the Mission Grape variety, one of the original grapes to come to California, to the US in general at all, brought here by Spanish missionaries who were using it for sacramental wine in church. Interesting little factoid. It was one of the first grapes brought here to the US. And while it was originally used by religious people, and it was also used for commercial wine a little bit, it fell out of favor because the trends were moving towards dark red wines, heavy red wines. And the Mission Grape variety made a very light, fruit-forward, almost candied fruit, easy drinking wine. So it was almost sinful to have something so easy to drink. And, well, it, it fell out of favor for that reason. So then later, this has, you know, been lost to history almost. And myself, amongst other young winemakers, kind of heard this, this story about Mission. And went, wait, so this fell out of favor because it was too delicious and easy to drink. That sounds like a good problem to have. So this grape is now coming back in trend and we make both a still wine from this, our L2 Urban Flora Rosé, and our sparkling Urban Flora Rosé sparkling. So really fun. It's a grape that just, I mean, it's absolutely those light red fruits and a lot of almost candied characteristics, but without being sweet. This is bone dry. This whole lineup zero sugar, zero, zero residual sugar, so the calories are low. And again, between the probiotics from the cloudiness and the, the lower calorie, lower sugar, because these are all lower alcohol and, and no sugar, this is a really nicely balanced wine. I mean, okay, health aside, this is just delicious and easy to drink. I think this might be my favorite lineup, actually. It's, it's just super fun. This also, in terms of pairings, pairs really well with Another one of my favorite bands, Walk Off the Earth. If you guys haven't ever checked out their YouTube videos, they have such fun live videos of them performing their songs. But um, the song Summer Vibe is just capturing this, like, hanging out with your friends, playing music, relaxing and vibing together kind of energy. And so great match for this wine, which, you know, it almost looks like a sunset at the beach. You know, you can imagine sipping on this while hanging out with your friends playing some music and relaxing. And well, oh, I pretty much just preempted my uh, my life pairings with this. This pair is great with sunsets, beach, bonfires, and hanging out with your friends. Or, you know, yoga in the park if you don't live near the beach. But something relaxing with your friends and some drinks. And then lastly, food pairings. This goes great with a fresh salad, like a watermelon salad. This also goes really well with Thai food, especially something like Tom Yum soup that has a 
a spiciness to it as well as a sweetness. So anything with a sweet, spicy balance, Thai food is particularly good here. So again, I hope you all have enjoyed your sparklings. You don't have to taste at my speed. I'm kind of speed tasting here to guide you through them, but you can enjoy these slowly with your friends. We also have mimosa pairings on your tasting cards that you can uh, enjoy. And really these sparkling wines, again, they're called pet gnats. They're the unfiltered style of natural sparkling wine. These are meant to be enjoyed in a relaxed environment. Just enjoyed, have fun with it great date night idea. Hopefully you guys have all uh, purchased these and are enjoying them along with me. But if you haven't and you're just watching this for fun to check it out, I would suggest purchasing these and having them for a date night. It's a great date night idea. And this, this date night doesn't have to be just like a one-on-one -on -one date, you know, with your, your lover. It could be, you know, just a fun date with a friend. Like, you know, one of my best buddies, Alex, we get together and share beers. Like I would sit down with him and talk through these wines and share these absolutely with your mom, with your dad, great gift or present for a birthday or a special occasion, really fun stuff to taste through. And well, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email. Glad to dive deeper into these wines. Enjoy and cheers.